Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and today I'm going to answer a moderately complicated question, which is how to make Madeira mushroom tan sauce, as I'm going to call it, because it's going to be a combination of some brown sauce with cream and brandy and Madeira. And real quick, let's go over all the ingredients that are going to be in this sauce, because this sauce is another level of sauce making. We need a variety of components to make this complex sauce. This is a sauce that you would get in an expensive restaurant that makes these kinds of sauces, okay? This sauce is going to be a combination of sautéed mirepoix with mushroom liqueur, which was the liquid that was used to reconstitute these dried mushrooms here, which we have a video for, uh, which is a combination of porcini and shiitakes. We're going to add some button mushrooms to the final sauce for garnish also. We have good tasting demi-glaze, brandy, rainwater Madeira wine, heavy cream, roasted garlic puree, white wine, thyme, and bay leaf. We're going to start this sauce out with a little bit of butter in a hot pan back here. And we're going to add the mirepoix with chopped mushrooms. We got about four or five large mushrooms that I sliced and then chopped and about two cups of mirepoix. This sauce is going to have so much depth and flavor when we're done. You're going to understand why people charge so much for sauces like this with certain foods. So we're going to add a little bit of thyme and a little bit of bay leaf to this. I'm going to fast forward a series of moments in the process of making this sauce for you. But in the final analysis, it will probably take about half an hour to 45 minutes once you have all of these ingredients compiled like I do, okay? So we're going to fast forward now for about five minutes while that mirepoix is sautéing. Okay, it's five minutes later. Step two, I'm going to take the roasted garlic puree. I have about four tablespoons here or a quarter of a cup. Now that sounds like a lot, but it's not. And we are going to add the mushroom liqueur from the dried mushrooms to this. And we're going to reduce this mixture first before we add white wine to reduce this. So I'm going to fast forward that till we get to step three. I'll see you in another five minutes. Then five minutes, it's about a little bit more than 50% reduced. So we're going to go to step three. I'm going to add white wine. Oh, about a cup and a half of white wine to this. A cup and a quarter, something like that. Now we're going to reduce this by 75%. And we're going to take a cup of heavy cream, and we're going to reduce this back here, meanwhile, until that sauce consistency, which isn't going to take very long. I'll shut this off as soon as it's done because we're going to add that sauce consistency cream to almost to the end part of the finishing process of the sauce. So we're going to fast forward now another five to ten minutes while the white wine's reducing. All right, step four in making this incredibly delicious sauce. This white wine is reduced by 75%. Now I'm going to add the two cups of demi brown sauce. And I'm going to add about a cup and a half of the rainwater Madeira. Now we're going to set this up. We're going to let this reduce to sauce consistency. Now, the cream has been reduced to be added later, okay? Now, the funny thing about this sauce is we are actually in the totality of liquids that are being used to make this sauce is somewhere between six and eight cups. We're only going to end up with two to three cups of sauce, which ought to tell you something about the concentration flavor aspect of this sauce to begin with. Um, so we'll be back in about 15 minutes. When this starts to get the sauce consistency, then we're going to approach the finishing stages of the sauce. Okay, step five for this delicious sauce. It's been reducing now. It's starting to come to sauce consistency. Now I'm going to take the reduced cream and add it into it.
I'm going to give that a little mix. Now we're going to take this over here and we're going to strain this sauce. Let's give that a second to settle right there. stuff, I'm sorry to say, is all garbage unless you have a four-legged creature that likes this kind of stuff. Okay, now we're getting down to the final step. I'm going to put this back on the stove and I want to show you what the texture of the sauce looks like now. It's just about sauce consistency. I'm going to taste it. I already tasted it, but I'm going to taste it again. I know what I want to do to this sauce to finish it off now. The sauce is really good. That's obviously, why wouldn't it be? Put 20 good ingredients together, it's going to end up being good. I'm going to put another splash of Madeira in here. Another half a cup. I'm going to put ounce and a half, two ounces of straight brandy in here. And I'm putting this back on the stove. This is the final reducing period. As soon as this gets to be sauce consistency again, we're going to take it off. We're going to garnish it with the mushrooms, check the final seasoning, and I'm going to get it on a plate for you so you can see what the sauce looks like on the plate with the garnish. So I'll be back in five minutes. The final step for this beautiful sauce, it says reduce down to the texture that I think it needs to be. It might be a teeny, teeny weeny bit too thick, but I have components here to adjust that. So I'm going to start by taking some of this before I even garnish it and put it on the plate here so we can see the texture of it. It looks good. You know, I'm a person who doesn't like his sauces real thick. Let's put the garnish in, and then maybe I'll put a splash of cream in it. So, first I'm going to put the sliced button mushrooms in it. You know what, I'm going to throw that juice in there, because I can, that'll help adjust the texture the way I want. Now we'll put some of the combination of the shiitake, dried and reconstituted mushrooms, along with the porcinis in there. Let's give that a whirl. Now, could I put butter in here? Yes, I could. I'm going to put another splash of cream in here. This is what I would call a legitimate tan sauce. I came up with the term tan sauce because I always had a hard time describing the difference between making brown sauce creamy. And so it's not a white sauce, and it's not a brown sauce, so it's kind of a beige or tan sauce. So. I think what we have here, let me taste this first real fish. This sauce needs no salt, needs no pepper. Could I put a pinch of brandy in it? Yes, I could. Without thinning it out, it's still thick enough. Could I put another fresh splash of Madeira? Keeping in mind that Madeira is one of those Wines that does not need to be reduced when it's added to sauce. Or it can be reduced. Let me taste that one more time. This sauce is really, really good. I'm going to put some of the sauce on the plate here and spread it out so you can see exactly what the sauce looks like in the final analysis. I got what I consider to be the right amount of mushroom mixed into that sauce, you see? That's my idea of sauce consistency. It's not gloppy, it's not thick, it's got just the right amount of mushrooms in it. There you go, this is a complex sauce that can be used for on pork. You can even use this sauce on poached, steamed, and braised fish 
and you may dilute parts of this. And if you're asking yourself the question, well, that's got meat sauce in it. There's brown sauce in it. Why would I put that on fish? You can do that all day long successfully. There is no rule that says brown sauce or brown meat products don't belong with fish. Bacon being one of my best examples, okay? So there you have it. Uh, a sophisticated, multi-step. Uh, you have to have a little bit of skill to make this sauce, meaning you have to know how to make all the things that went into this sauce in order for it to be, you to be successful at it. Mushroom Madeira cream with a little bit of brandy.